Previously on Modi Makes. <sighs> Guys, I fucked up. You might remember that I used that, um, that gloss medium. I guess this just picked up too much paint because even against the blacks and stuff, it's hazy white and against the whites, it's this brown color from the fur that it's picked up. And I ruined the piece at literally the last possible minute. What's good, everybody? My name is Modi, this is Modi Makes, and today it's time for the redemption round. Yes, I cannot wait. If you guys watched my last video in this series, my first ever custom painted skateboard, You'll know that the illustration went really well, but at the end when I tried to put some varnish on, it kind of ruined the piece and I was very, very, very upset with myself. So today I'm here to set things right and finally get my shit together and show you guys what I can actually do and finally make an actually really quality, good looking, finished custom painted skateboard. So let's get into it. There's a couple of the initial process things that I'm gonna be skipping today, but it's only because I already took care of them in the first video. So if you have any questions about, you know, preparing your skateboard, go back and watch that video, then come back here and catch up where you left off. It's pretty informative and it's easy to make mistakes as I found out. So <laughs> don't try to cut corners, go check it out. Come right back here. So we're back to get it started and just like last time, we're going to need to tape off the duct first and then we can get started on spray painting. And remember to tape up the holes in the first time this time. <laughs> All right, I'm going to let that dry for a bit and then I got a couple other colors that I'm going to add on to this. Hello, puppy. Let me give you good pets. Yes. Such a beauty. Yes. Yes. <laughs> so it should now be dry enough for me to add on some other colors. I'm going to be attempting to be doing this from kind of behind the camera so that you guys can get a better angle on this. And one of the other great things about this pink is that it works so beautifully with this gold yellow color. I also realized that I was <laughs> absolutely wearing my mask backwards in that last shot, so <laughs> don't judge me for that too much. I'd say that went pretty well. <laughs> All right, now on the other side, maybe I should just probably have to flip the camera around because I don't want to get that yellow on the other side. They gave me a bunk can lid so they taped it on. <laughs> I don't want to talk too much shit though because I honestly love the shop that I got this from. It's one of the cooler shops in Seattle for this kind of stuff. But since it's like that, I guess I won't mention their name just in case. <laughs> now I haven't used this one yet, so I've got to get the ball unstuck. Come on. There you go. Yep, so I'm gonna be adding on this blue and you guys will see later why I'm doing that. Perfect. Perfect. <sighs> yep, it's a Monday. Well, 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 people, it is raining so damn hard outside right now. <laughs> it is ridiculous, so sorry about that if you're picking that up in the audio. But uh, we just gotta get back to doing some good old matte medium work so we can set up the board to be painted on. So let's get into it. Let's get it going. Now it's time for that good old forest break, so I'm just gonna go clean off the brush here and work on the sketch a little bit more, just like last time and every time. All 
All right, so the matte medium is completely dried and everything is feeling real nice to the touch and good to go. So now we just gotta transfer over the sketch that I made and then we can get to the good painting, which is what everyone's waiting for anyways. So let's just get through this. Now that we got our sketch all set up, it's time for some more Posca Pen Persuasion. I love these little guys. They're a little tricky to figure out at first, um, but now that I have a little bit more practice with them, I think this time will work out a lot better than last time. So I'm excited to do it. And these aren't really the colors that I'm gonna be using for this, but they were just kind of the two first handfuls of the Posca Pens I grabbed. So. But you guys get it, you, you all are intelligent people, I can tell, because you're watching this channel. <laughs> finally done with the fills we can get to the most fun but also the most stressful part which is all the detail work stuff that's really gonna make the piece pop and look good but also the stuff that if you mess up it's hard to correct and uh, you know makes it a little more nerve-wracking but also a lot more entertaining a lot easier to focus on you might have noticed that I already did a little bit of the detail work in the smoke and the cigarette here because you know these fills can get kind of boring after a while because it's just a lot of going over the same spot obviously and especially since I have a lot of white in this piece the thing to keep in mind when you're working with a lot of paint pens but especially with Posca pens is if you're putting white over colors um, you generally have to go over it at least two times sometimes three times to really get an opaque layer and not have it be all streaky and just look you know a lot less good, <laughs> for lack of a better word, than it would look once it's all fully opaque and matte and everything like that. And um, I really want to get kind of a graphic look going for this piece. So 
I needed to make sure that those whites were really flat and really opaque. So I actually had to run and grab an extra white pen today because I've used so much of it on this piece and the last one that I did. And thankfully I got it, so all good there. Um, and another thing you might have noticed while I was doing the final fills there on the feathers is that um, I left certain gaps in it. I only did that so I could make sure I know where all my line work is so I can be sure to remember where each individual feather is instead of it just being a big blue blob the whole way down because that's going to be really important for when I'm doing my shading. It was just important for this specific piece because unlike the last one I'm not doing black line work so I needed to make sure that I still had reference for where all my lines are going to be and where I need to add in the shading colors and such. Um, so yeah, let's just get into the actual detail work now and uh, we'll see how it turns out. Hopefully well. Pray for me. <laughs> We did it! We did it this time. Well, I did it, but we did it because you guys are helping to support me to do this. So team effort all around. You guys are the best. I'm the best. You're the best. We're all the best. Keep being the best. <laughs> but we did it this time. No major screw ups. <laughs> the piece looks great. I'm super happy with how it turned out. I am going to wait <laughs> to put that gloss varnish on this time so it doesn't ruin the piece. So I will have an update for that later on, probably next video or maybe the video after that. I just want to give it as much time as it needs to dry before I do that so <laughs> it doesn't drag the paint around this time because wow was that depressing last time. But now that I've gotten a solid one in, I don't even care anymore. <laughs> it feels so good. And I'm gonna be showing the side-by-side -side shots 
after the final shots here. So stay tuned for that and we can talk about the differences and uh, well, it's gonna be super obvious, but you'll be able to see very clearly <laughs> how much that messed it up last time. But before we get into the final shots, I just wanna say, Thank you guys so much for watching. I really, really do appreciate it. If you guys liked the video, please give me a thumbs up. I'm super proud about this one, so I'd love to be able to show it to as many people as I can, and that really does help to get it out there. And you know, if you like what I do here, if you like the channel, if you like me and you like my art, please subscribe. It really helps out a ton, um, and it just will help me keep bringing these videos to you guys and keep being able to dedicate as much time as possible to making these videos. So I really, really would appreciate it. It would be amazing. Anyways, I guess uh, with all that out of the way and all the amazing excitement building and coming together into full climax, <laughs> let's uh, get into those final shots. So let's check it out, shall we? So there you have it, my peoples, my two first ever custom painted skateboards. And I gotta say, I like the new design better. I mean, the old design was good before I screwed it up at the last second, and the illustration was great, but even so, I like this new design better. I just think the colors work a little bit better, and you know, it's just a little more interesting, a little more different. I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm a Seattle boy, so I love the Sonics and everything, and I love the pine forests and the orange and the forest green colors put together, but I just really like how this illustration turned out. It's fantastic. <laughs> I'm truly proud. And uh, you know, you can just see the difference. All the colors are so muted here. And I gotta say, I'm not even really sure I like the gloss finish too much. I'm gonna have to think about whether or not I'm gonna put it on here. I think maybe if I did resin, it would definitely look really good and make the colors pop a little bit more and everything. But We'll see, I haven't really decided yet, but you guys let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. And if you haven't watched the video for this one, go ahead and watch that if you would. Um, it, the illustration looked a lot, lot better before I put the gloss finish on. So it just kind of give you a, a sense of what this was supposed to look like. It was supposed to look a lot more like this <laughs> and uh, just, you know, it. I'm a little bit bummed about how that turned out and everything. So if you would go watch that and go check out the illustration before I messed it up at the very end so you can see 
that uh, I have some talent and I'm not just <laughs> a dumbass, you know what I mean? <laughs> but yeah, let me know down in the comments below which one you liked better and uh, I have more boards a-coming soon, so I'll catch you in those videos. Keep your eyes out for that. Turn on that notification bell so you can get alerted when those come out, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace!